Oh my goodness. Ha oh my. What the? Sorry, my Roomba is like trying to get into my office right now, like literally busting his head through. So if any of y'all hear like any weird noises, it is either me or it's most likely the Roomba. Anyway, hi everybody, Kathy and Fox here. And it's been a while since I've actually had a video in fursuit. This is really exciting. <laughs> like I was actually counting down the days to when I would actually be able to do this again. If any of y'all saw my last video, which is like two weeks ago, I was over in a hotel for a work trip where I couldn't bring my fursuit with me. The week after that, we had a vacation over to Kansas City. It gave me a good opportunity to recharge my batteries and spend some time with our neighbors who are actually going to be moving soon. And it's gonna be really sad to see them go oh man we're actually going to be moving from this apartment over into base housing around September. One of the reasons we were really staying here was because our neighbors were like an integral part of my time here. And it's just gonna be weird not being around them. Another reason we're moving on base is I'll finally have my own dedicated studio. I'm really excited about that. I won't have to share this office anymore. Ah, but enough of that. Today's topic is something that every furry has for the most part what is that you might ask it's tails those fluffy things you just cannot live without tails more specifically why it wouldn't be a great thing if everybody one day magically became their persona you'd have a lot of extra problems a little bit of extra baggage that you'd have to deal with me personally i used to always think like yes i really want to become my persona one day and then thoughts like this creep into my head late at night when i'm trying to get some sleep at like 3 a.m this stuff keeps me up okay this stuff keeps me up at night having a tail would be awesome on one hand right like you get a nice fluffy tail that you can have with you wherever you go it always follows you it's there for you but having a tail in real life would have a bunch of like little extra things that people might have not considered until actually having a tail I'm not speaking from experience. I don't actually have a real tail as far as I know, but if I did, and if you did, these might be some of the things that you might want to look out for. First of all, I was thinking about how seats would be shaped. If you have a tail, that's like extra space behind you and you have to kind of fit into this space. So seats typically just have like, you know, the back of the seat right here, and your, your butt just sits down on it, and that's it, that's A-okay. -okay. But if you have a tail, you would have to have a hole inside the chair where your tail would go. While I don't think that this would be something immediate that everybody would have to worry about, because all you'd have to do is just like, <laughs> get some new chairs. It's not really like a, a big issue, honestly. That's why I'm starting off with this one first. Your chairs would have to be different shaped, whether it's in your cars, on buses, it really doesn't matter. Your chairs would have to be different shaped. Yeah. Chairs. Another thing that kind of crept into my mind is how would haircut places be done? When you go to like get a haircut, right? It's your hair typically, or like your beard if you have one, or like your fake mustache, whatever you have, that's, that's probably what is gonna be taken care of at a haircutting place, a salon. But if you have a tail, I'm wondering if that would end up having to be like a separate place because just like tails, from Sonic the Hedgehog, they happen to end up getting mangy over time. I feel like if you have a tail, you're gonna have to have a separate place that specializes in just tails, which is an extra thing you have to worry about during the week. Not only do you have to book your hair cutting appointment, unless you're like really skilled and can do your own hair or have somebody else who could do it for you, you'd have to have a special place that would specialize in just getting your tail looking extra sharp. And that's an extra thing you have to worry about. Oh my goodness, tails are a lot of trouble. The next thing that you would have to worry about if you have a tail is you have to have a separate floor mat. Now, hear me out. Regular floor mats are great. They're for where you put your feet when they're dirty. You wanna make sure you don't track a bunch of gunk into your house. But tails also drag and pick up a whole bunch of dirt. Everywhere you go, they're just gonna go across the city floor, dragging everything into it. I know from personal experience, this happens like every single time I go to a convention. Even if I spend the entire con holding my tail up to like keep the tip of it from like walking into the city streets, it will inevitably happen. The tail will brush up against some stuff and then you have to worry about a lot more gunk. Unless you're lucky and you have like a deer persona or some other species with a shorter tail, 
If you're a fox like me, sorry, you're out of luck. We have big bushy tails. So you'd have to have a separate floor mat just for your tail. I was thinking it would be a floor mat that's like slightly elevated. Not only are you able to walk in to your house, brush off your feet, sorry, your paws, because in this scenario, we're all our personas. And then you'd have an elevated floor mat where you would be able to drag your tail across it. And there you go. You have a clean tail and you have clean paws. This is not exactly something difficult to like implement. It's just another pain you'd have to deal with having a tail. Another problem with having a tail in real life is sitting on an airplane. Unless you're like really lucky you can sit in first class, I typically sit in the back of the plane. I sit over in coach. Already, you're dealing with not that much space. A bunch of cranky people on a flight all together. And now you have to worry about tails in front of you. Remember when I was talking about having a chair with a hole in it for your tail to go? Imagine that, but the tail is now facing behind behind the seat for the passenger behind you. So I don't know about you, but on a lot of flights that I end up going on, people always end up kicking the back of the chair. Now imagine a stranger's feet stepping on your tail while you're sitting on a flight for like three plus hours. Yeah, you already have a recipe for disaster. So planes and tails don't quite mix. I don't even know about holding your tail on your lap while you're flying because there's already not that much space, but hey, at least your tail could function as a separate lunch tray that you could have on your lap. <laughs> uh, that's the only silver lining I can see to having a tail on an airplane. <gasps> I'm also kind of wondering how No Shave November would apply. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing for tails, but No Shave November is that time in November where people just don't shave. Like they just let it go for a month. I actually don't do this. I always shave like all the time. But how would a tail work for No Shave November? Do you just like let it go? I, I mean, my tail is already really, really bushy. And if I don't groom it, it's gonna be like really, really, really all over the place. I would imagine No Shave November would apply to a tail as well. I'm not saying like shave a tail like completely, all right? <laughs> but like keep it groomed because technically that's shaving. These are the mysteries that keep me up at night. Another thing that would happen if tails became a thing in everyday society, sports would have a lot more fouls, a lot more instances where you have a team making a mistake and they get called out for it. So stepping on tails, grabbing them or whatever would end up up leading to a bunch of like longer games because everybody even if they're not trying would have a higher chance of causing these foul plays to happen because you have a tail behind you. You have an extra thing that's following you this entire game. So if somebody tackles you or grabs the tail or steps on it, you end up having a foul, which ends up making the game go on a lot longer than it probably should. And the last thing that would cause trouble with tails is whenever you're on a crowded bus or train. You know those bullet trains that are in Tokyo where they already have to cram a whole Bunch of people. They even have dedicated people outside the train pushing people into the train to make enough room. It gets really crowded. Now imagine that scenario but with a bunch of tails everywhere and you have a recipe for disaster that would be so painful, so obnoxiously uncomfortable. No, 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 no. We are not going to have that happen. All right, so to kind of put all of this into perspective. Having a tail, while it's an awesome, wonderfully bushy thing that can follow you around wherever you go, there's also some extra stuff you'd have to worry about if we all of a sudden just became our personas one day. There would be a bit of a time where we'd have to adjust and kind of make society a bit more comfortable for all of us to live in, despite us all being cute and wonderful animals. <laughs> These are the kind of things that terrify me at night. Like I just think about this stuff and there's a part of my head that's always like, hmm, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea for us to be our personas. But yes, oh my goodness. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe this video would not have been possible without the support of the following gold egg patrons. Holy smokes, thank you so much. Nikki, Revamp Skunk, Jonathan Blacklock, Archiefer, Lindsay, Moodle, Richard Wren, DH, Jax Shepard, Apollo Bunny, Funtime Wolf, Dynamo, Dexo, Retrix Fox, Emerith Cantonine and Cinder Kitten. Thank you all so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And if any of y'all wanna consider becoming a patron and helping my channel out, check me out on the link down below.
yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you again, everybody, for watching today's video. And I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And don't get a tail.